Alright, so I have a fun little morning planned, and that is 100% because of my job. Some of you may know I work for General Motors. Uh, presently I'm in the Fairfax plant, and today I have an XT4. Brand new from the factory, literally. We make them here in Fairfax, Kansas City, and I get to drive it for today. So, first and foremost, I want to start driving. No keys. It's of course push to start. Don't even have to take this out of my pocket to get in. All I had to do was push the button. It automatically unlocks. It recognizes the sensor being near me. This car has a lot of really awesome technology in it and a lot of really awesome features and I want to go over all those but like I said first I want to drive. cars this is not my thing so this is not a review this is just my enjoyment in order to get out of park there's a pretty unique shifter here there's a side button and a top button. The top button's just for putting it into park. And you have to hold the side button and just push backwards. It takes you into drive. If you push back again, it takes you into manual. If you um, hold the button down and push forward, it takes you into reverse. If you have it in drive and then don't hold the button down, it won't let you go into reverse. It takes you into neutral automatically. Let's take it to park. You'll notice this control and button cluster here, and then a smaller one. This is for volume, changing the audio. This is for the big screen and making selections on the big screen, all from these buttons here. These are the different driving modes right here. This is the automatic start stop. You can see there's a bunch of different options here. <clears throat> and I should mention, this is the premium luxury uh, option. There's a luxury option, a premium luxury option, and a sport option. Alright, so what makes this car so amazing is all the technology in it. So I want to try and show that. It has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It has, you know, you can set different user profiles. Of course, you can connect your phone, all that stuff. It has navigation. You can do a Wi-Fi hotspot. One of the coolest things is the cameras. So that is the actual outside of this vehicle right now. I don't really know how this happens. Clearly, they have a bunch of cameras around the vehicle and superimpose everything above. But it's really just awesome technology. Um, there's a ton of different options you can look at. So there's just the front. There's the front from above. There's that GTA kind of view. There's the two side cameras so you can see what's on either side. And of course you double press any of these buttons and you get the back view. So there's the back view. It's just really cool. Um, one of the other really awesome features is this mirror. Let's see if this is going to show up. So this mirror, which is just a normal mirror right now, if I flip down this, it goes to the rear view camera. 
as you can see, there's not a whole lot. You're looking out, and that camera, switching that camera, sure helps give you a bigger view. And of course, you can change the settings on it. You can change the brightness on it. You can change the zoom on it. You can change the camera position even. So you want to look up higher or you want, if you want a lower view for maybe backing up and that's what your primary use for that is. Um, so there's really a lot of options on what you can do with the camera. So there's a USB, a USB-C, and a memory card placement, um, which comes preloaded with maps for your area. One of the other amazing things that I think it only comes in this package is the seat control here. So I can, of course, mess with the lumbar, but in addition to that, there's actually a roll option. So right now, what this means is it is adjusting the lumbar throughout the entire seat and basically giving me a back massage. Right now, that's what it's doing. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear that sound, but that is the sound of the seat adjusting the lumbar and giving me a back massage. Really cool. So what's really cool about this is it is a wireless charging station. So just set it in there. And there we go, my phone is charging. And it works pretty fast in my opinion, which is awesome. But maybe one of the coolest things about this is when I bring this back down, it looks like the phone's not there, but it stays open. So I can still easily grab my phone if I need to. And if I want to just set it right back, just set it right back. So you can change how the uh, driving modes work. And basically there's auto changes for all of them from normal to sports sensitive, comfort sensitive all these different options and basically what it's doing is it's detecting how you're driving and adjusting how the mode in the car is. I have it set to off because I've found that sport is definitely my cup of tea and typically what I'm driving around in. Of course there's a heads up display. Let's see if I can I'm gonna brighten that up. Obviously somewhat difficult to see on camera during the day, but I can see it clear as day. And there's different um, lighting so I can dim it. Turn it back up. There's different displays on that. So you can have just, you know, your miles per hour and what you're listening to on the radio. Um, you can have the direction you're going, navigation on there. And you can also have this fun um, tachometer and speedometer combination, which is what I've been driving around with, because like I said, the sport's more my thing. And of course you can adjust the height, whatever works for you, where you sit in your seating position. that simple to open up the hatch. You just kick under here, automatically opens up. You can see inside of here, pretty good space. 
There is a spare tire, not a full size, but still a spare. And it has uh, little compartments, which is more space for nice. Of course, you could pull it down here, you could push this button, but why would you do all that when all you gotta do is really that simple. Something else I forgot to mention is the fact that the seats vibrate when you change lanes or doesn't want you to change lanes, you get too close to the car in front of you, all those things. And I'm sure there is technology that I forgot to mention and didn't even think about. For example, I didn't talk about the engine very much, I didn't talk about the wheels, the chassis, anything on the outside or the the exterior or the, the mechanics of the vehicle. but. I just had so much fun with all the technology in this, I just had to share and had to show you guys what it's like in the X-T4.